What's up guys? It's Friday. Quite chilly out today and breezy. Um, I know I'm actually talking really loud. And I know I probably also sound a little funny. Um, it's because my nose is like stuffed up. It's either a cold or sinuses. Either way, I know that my voice is a little different. Um, I was going to do a video today. Oh, I forgot to do... I didn't get a chance to do a video Tuesday of them installing the garage door openers. I then didn't get a chance to do it Wednesday or yesterday like I wanted to. Um, if I'm going to do it today, I was going to do it now. Um, but as you can see and hear, I got this dude here in the Bobcat with the jackhammer. That dude there with the Bobcat and the jackhammer tearing up my street in front of my house. That dude better move if I have a fire call because I'm going to be running his ass over if I have a fire call. No way in hell I'm going around the fucking block. Um, I was going to shoot the video now about the garage doors and tell you what I'm doing now, but as you can see, I got that damn thing there, so it's a little loud, so it's a little too noisy, so I don't know if this will work, but um... But um, I'll try my best. If not, I'm just going to have to redo it. I should probably just redo it. Because that's just really, really loud. So it's probably going to interfere with this. Um, it's definitely going to interfere with this video. So <coughs> I might as well just wait till later. I might just wait till later. Till this fucking stupid ass. Um, excuse my language there. Um, you know, goes away because it's too loud, and I feel like I'm literally like yelling, and my phone is right here, and I feel like I'm literally yelling into my phone so that way it'll hear me because my nose is stuffed up, so my voice is a little different, and because of the stupid bobcat, I feel like I'm literally yelling. So, and I don't want to be literally yelling when I post this up. So, um, I want to just try and give you a quick gist of what I'm doing right now. And then I'll come back later and, uh, tell you all about the garage door openers and whatnot. But what I'm doing right now is I'm fixing this for one of my teachers at work. One of the teachers at work. It's a little, like, cubby thingy. It's really really like wobbly like really wobbly um so it needs a new back that'll help stabilize it plus I'm also gonna then just re-nail the sides as I put the back on so I got a new uh nice birch quarter inch birch nice sanded quarter inch birch as you can see I got my mark here to cut that I gotta cut which I'm actually getting ready to cut that now. Um, so I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna fit it into the top here. As you can tell, it's got the groove here. This is cabinet grade material right here. But it's got the groove, so it's nice. So it'll fit. It'll fit right in there. I'll make sure it's nice and straight. Then take the nail gun and just go boop, 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 and just pop it on with some brad nails. Just shoot them in, and then I'll shoot it in. Brad, more brads here down the line and that thing will be sturdy as hell and it won't go anywhere um you know what fuck it I'm just gonna do shoot the video now because I've already I've already gotten this far I've already gotten this far so I've already gotten this far so all right Excuse me. Um, well, here are the nice, cool garage door openers. Craftsman Ultra. Ooh, thank you. Craftsman Ultra Quiet, belt driven, half horsepower. Pretty fast for half horsepower, so it's good. Um, belt driven, ultra quiet. Um, I can't do the one above my truck because obviously my truck is there and the sensor is broken there so it won't go down 
the safety sensor. So uh, we'll just do bay one, which is this side here. I don't know if you actually, you know, with the truck there. So let's see how this works. Come down real nice and smooth. Beautiful. Doesn't make no noise at all. The only noise that you would hear that you'll hear with this door is just the wheels in the track, you know, vibrating as it goes up and down. That's nothing compared to a chain drive motor that sounds like that when it opens and closes and when it finally actually closes the chain will then hit the track and it'll go ding 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 for like five seconds and that's annoying as hell it's loud this so quiet I love it but there you go it closes nice and smooth um, this actually wasn't that bad to put up for him to put up. It's actually quite easy. But you got the motor and the track and the extender. I mean, it's actually not that difficult to put up in a way. I mean, the directions actually tell you step by step how to do it. But it's still better to have someone who already knows what they're doing do it. That way you don't screw it up. Because yeah, um, with that door with bay two, that door was a lot jumpy going down. It's because if you could see right here at the top on this door and that door, that's a torque master. <coughs> that's a torque master uh, spring tension bar. Um, basically what that does, it's an anti-drop device. It's got a giant ass spring in it. It's an anti-drop device that helps uh, lift and close the bay door because it's heavy. Well, with this bay, when it would close, it would jump like this because of um. Know, let me let me um open up bay one again to get light in here. Beautiful. Okay, now come on, focus. Focus to over there. All right, I'll have to walk over there. My garage is still a mess. Still not there yet. But these are the safety sensors that reverse to uh, the other ones right there. Right there. Um, that reverse the door if an obstacle is breaking the beam. Safety purposes. But you got to see the torque master right here. Well, that was uh was too loose. It didn't have enough tension on it on the spring, so it would be hard to push the door up and easy to pull the door down, which meant it wasn't tensioned right. And it says this is a single spring, so there's only one socket thingy. Focus. Come on, focus. I don't know if you can see it. There's one socket thingy right there. 5 8 socket or 16 millimeter. Um, but with that, with that, um, it wasn't, it's a single spring, so there's only one. There's not another one on the other side. But since it was too, it wasn't tensioned enough, it was hard, easy to pull the door down. It was like real super easy. Hard to push the door up. So it was, wasn't tensioned right. So that way, when, so when the motor was pulling the pushing the door down, since the door wasn't the, since the torque master wasn't tensioned right, the door wanted to go like this. Well, actually, the door was going like this because the door just wanted to go free fall down. Um, so all I did was take a socket and I just torqued the uh, did about nine clicks of the teeth. So to do three clicks at a time. Three teeth at a time, so I did about nine clicks or six. No, I think I did nine. Um, and now it's perfect. It's torqued. It's tensioned just right now. So now the door, when it goes down, it doesn't go 
like this. It actually kind of goes smooth. I mean, yeah, there's still like a little jump in it, but it's a lot better than what it was. I mean, a lot better than what it was, so that's a good thing. But yeah, that's for those who have those. Sometimes you'll have like ones that have like the springs going over like this. Um, that's a Torque Master. It's actually really simple to tension and untension it. Just be very careful when tensioning and untensioning because obviously it's under tension, the spring that's inside of it, so it could, it could like freaking kill you. But um, yeah, there you go. These are nice uh, quiet motors and obviously have your release handle, but nice quiet. They weren't hard at all to uh, put in. And the best thing that I like about these ones too is that the control board over here it's got a motion sensor so as soon as you walk in boom the lights go on that's the best damn thing it's got here a timeout a time to close thingy so one five ten time to close which after that amount of time it'll close the door automatically if you forget you could also get the the a shore link uh, home link thing so you could have it on your have it on your phone so if you forget to open, if you fit the close your thing and you leave and you just boom, hit the button on the app on your phone and it'll close or open. Um, you do also have down here, you know, the learn and lock. The learn button is for programming the remote and wireless keypad. The lock button will lock um, the remotes. Um, and, and the lights too, and I think that's it, um, but yeah, so that's about it, and obviously, I forgot to show you one thing, <coughs> obviously, never, ever, ever, ever lock these things back up after you get the garage door opener, never, ever, ever ever lock them back up because if you hit the button boop, it ain't gonna go up it's not gonna move and you could potentially like break your garage door opener so do not lock them ever 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 again hmm I think he's back at it again all right well I think that dude's back at it again but it's good I got my time in so all right let me get this uh cubby thingy done let me get this cubby thingy done so I can bring it back to work and uh, then relax and do other stuff. Alright, peace. Alright guys, well, I got it cut, nice and cut, fitted it in, it's perfect, and now this thing actually doesn't move, doesn't rock back and forth, but if you can see, where is it? Right there, see how there's a little? Come on, focus, focus. See a little space there? That means it was an eighth of an inch, not a quarter. It means it was an eighth, not a quarter. Got that space right there. Well, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, as much as I do like my work to be perfect, it doesn't matter that much because it's, it's an eighth of an inch difference, and this is the back, so it's going to be hidden, so it's not really going to matter that much. Um, as much as I would like to go and fix it, um, I don't have the money to go out and buy another piece of plywood, of uh, cabinet grade plywood. I don't have the money to buy another piece of cabinet grade. Um, cabinet grid plywood is expensive because it's good quality uh, plywood that they make obviously all cabinets and stuff like that out of well that's not just cabinets but things like this it's the good nice quality plywood so I mean it's fine it, it really is it's fine it's actually not that bad 
So, it is what it is. It's actually nice and sturdy now, so now it doesn't go like this. So, now I'm just gonna go Brad nail that in. I got this all set up. Focus. I got this whole set up, got my brad nailer, no it's not a DeWalt, this is just the case that I got, the little toolbox that I got for it, it's a Ryobi, it's a nice little brad nailer, 18 gauge brad nailer, perfect, love it, alright, let me do this, so I'll go return this uh, back to the school now, as soon as I'm done here, alright, peace.